Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. So if you're a content creator like me, and you're recording sound like I am right now, unless you're working in an isolation chamber, you probably notice that there's a lot of background noise that you may not detect while you're trying to record. Now, thankfully, I've made a discovery in Caden Live for some noise suppression, which can clean all of that up without any work except for one click. You want to see how? Let's check it out. All right, so let's take a look. We are working in Kden Live here, and just for reference, I am working on version 21.12.1, which is the latest and greatest for Ubuntu as of this moment. <laughs> so let's look at this. So I want to take a listen. This is a recording from a previous video. This is raw, and there is no adjustment to it whatsoever. I'll click on it. You can see there's nothing in the effects panel right now. All right. Okay, so once again, this is Photo Learning is on Nate. Thank you so much for joining in. Wanted to get back into Krita because we haven't. All right, so you can hear already how there's like like a, a hissy hum, rumbling noise in the background. It can be very distracting, and it's picking up just stuff that's going on. In fact, some of that might just be the computer noise <laughs> that's going on next to me because the fan's running. There's just ambient noise of the world going on. Wind outside, cars far away on the road would just resonate and hit the house and then translate into the microphone. Very sensitive things. So you might be saying, well, why don't you have a condenser mic? I actually do, but it still picks up um, a good bit of what's going on. So let's look at this then on a software perspective because it can be hard, especially if you don't have access to an isolation chamber um, to do those kinds of things. So if we drill in here to this clip, really this is so easy. I'm going to go into effects. I'm going to look for noise. And there's this new one that I haven't seen before. I really didn't even notice in releases, but it's there now uh, under the LED SPA plugins noise suppressor for voice. If you search for noise again, this should come up. And if you're using latest and greatest, I'm going to drag that in. And you heard before what it was. I haven't changed anything other than dragged it on. Now listen to it. Okay, so once again, this is Photo Learning is on Nate. Thank you so much for joining in. Wanted to get back into Krita because we haven't touched on it in a little while. And I'm going to disable it temporarily. All right. Let's listen to it again. Okay, so once again, this is Photo Learning is on Nate. Thank you so much for joining. All right, so you hear the noise. And once again, re enable. Okay, so once again, this is Photo Learning is on Nate. Thank you so much for joining in. And what's so awesome about this is that I'm not really hearing any aberrations in my voice. It sounds still like me, and that's that's a typical byproduct of noise cancellation in that when it attempts to pattern remove noise, usually it trims out some of the stuff of my how my voice resonates, and I don't hear that. So this is an awesome addition to Kden Live. Try this out if you're struggling like I have been with some of the background noise, because this is a huge enhancement, which can make a big difference. And I'm looking forward to using it. I just wanted to share it with you because I was so excited to find this. So it's another feather in the cap for Kden Live. I talk a lot about this tool in the past. Go check out those videos if you haven't, because there's so much feature rich capability in this tool. And it's FOSS. It's free open source software. So give it a try if you haven't done that before and see what it can offer you and also watch the videos so you can get a better idea of how to leverage them and get the most out of this. All right. This is a really quick and easy tip really on how to use this. Really, there wasn't a whole lot to do because it's kind of self-driven. There are some settings there if you really want to, but I, I, again, I found I didn't really have to tweak them very much. It just seems to be intelligently making things work <laughs> behind the scenes, which is awesome. So. So that's that. If this was helpful to you, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't done that already so you don't miss out on the awesome tips and walkthroughs, and tutorials and discussions that are coming up in the future. And leave a comment, ask a question, join the discussion, and we'll see how we can help you. And hopefully the community will join in as well to lend you some assistance. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thanks for sticking with me.